Hey everybody out there on the internet, it's me, Sam Miller, aka Kendama Joe, and welcome to another edition of Joe's Mailbag. As you can see, I still got the mailbag, because you keep sending the letters. Now, this week I've got two emails uh, from my website that I'm going to address, so let's get right to it. Cut to the chase, dig down in the mailbag. Oh, oh this is so hard. Oh, jeez. What can I say? They're buried down there sometimes. What am I supposed to do? Okay, this one is from Colin. Colin asks, Dear Kendama Joe, what is the hardest trick you've ever landed? Well, Colin, that's pretty hard to define what's the hardest trick I ever landed. Um, there have been a number of tricks that I've probably only ever landed once and will probably never land again because they were just that hard. And Plus, after I landed it, it was like total elation. So I was like, I'll never top that. I'm never going to try it again. But if the hardest trick... Hmm. I would probably have to say the the hardest trick I ever landed was in Kendama Joe Edit 6. Uh, it was a spacewalk followed by a ball stall on the end of the Ken. Uh, that was pretty hard. That one took me about three hours of consecutive play to actually nail. Uh, in fact, I'll roll it for you. Hey DJ, hit it! Well Colin, there you have it. That right there is probably the hardest trick I've ever landed. I was pretty stoked when I landed it too. Um, although you really don't see it in the video, I look kind of calm and collected, but after I finally nailed it, I was dancing around for about 20 minutes. No joke. Uh, so let's go back down here into the mailbag and see what else I can dig out. Gimme! Yeah. Mailbag's greedy! Anyway, this one comes from Teak. Teak asks me this question. Dear Kendama Joe, we've already established that you love the Shin Sakura Kendama so much, but given if you only had a choice between the two, which would you take? A TK-16 or an Ozura Kendama? Well, Teak, that's a pretty hard question. And I'm going to need to look at these Kendamas just to see which one I would prefer. So, let's see. Right here, I got a Mugen. And... Right here, I got a TK-16. <sighs> okay, let's see. TK-16, well, that was the very first model Kandama I ever owned, although mine was black, and that should be put into some Hall of Fame somewhere. I did like it, though. I learned a lot with that Kandama. Uh, this is my blue one. Uh, haven't used it nearly as much. It's still in pretty good condition, given the fact that I have about a dozen of these things now. Um, the Mugen. Uh, that's probably the one I've had the most of. I think I have three or four of these, uh, all different colors. This is one I got from iPure uh, during my sponsorship with them. Um, well, both have their good and bad sides. I mean, the wood, if it came down to the wood composition, I'd give it to the Mugen. If it came down to the string, I'd probably give it to the TK16. Uh, durability, probably the TK-16, uh, the tricks, like my ability to land them, I'd probably give the Mugen. Um, mm, which one would I take? I'd take the Mugen, any day. Mugens are fun. Uh, in fact, my, my everyday Kandama is a Mugen. I use it to experiment on all sorts of tricks. Uh, TK-16s are fun, they're very durable, I love them, but in any given situation, I'm going to go with the Mugen. TK-16s are just fun to play with. But, well, that's all I got in the mailbag this week. Uh, if you'd like to ask me a question anytime, just go to my website, kandamajo.com. There's a page called Mailbag where you can you know, send your email question and I'll answer it. Uh, 
you can ask me anything about Kandama, you can ask me anything about Gene, you can ask me anything about getting later. Whatever you got on your mind, hey, I'll probably answer it. Because I've got nothing better to do. What are you going to do about it, huh? Anyway, uh, that's all I've got, like I said, for the mailbag this week. Uh, I want you guys to go out there and keep dominating.